Hi guys. G'day. So we thought we'd make a video outside with our new selfie stick. How cool is this? Alright, we're just having some fun. <laughs> In the Aussie backyard. Yeah. It's very hot today. It's scorching actually, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so question has come through. Very long detailed message that was sent to us and we've tried to summarise some of the points on a piece of paper. So this video is about group outings, what to do in social situations. Ah, the age-old question. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. And, you know, we're not probably the best people to ask we're in many not. ways, because we don't, we don't eat out a lot and no. we don't have too many friends. <laughs> and if we do, we go out with vegan friends, yeah. or if we go out with non-vegan friends, it's still always at a vegan restaurant. Yeah, so, <laughs> anyway, we're going to try our hardest to answer these questions. The first part of the message was, what to do with splitting the bill? Do we pay as individuals or do we split the bill? Now this person doesn't drink alcohol or soft drink or coffee, so they're kind of subsidising for everyone else at the table that eats or drinks many other things that they don't. Should they split the bill or not? Personally, I don't think so. I know it's um, socially awkward to request that everyone pay individually when, you know, splitting the bill might be the norm. Well. Screw social norms, I say. Um, I'm not, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to subsidise no. other people's unhealthy habits as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Or even, you know, if you do choose to split the bill, then at least say, well, you know, obviously I shouldn't be paying the same amount as everyone else, so maybe they can take off $5 or $10 yeah. from your um, part of the split or something like that. That's and cool. probably the best way to raise this is just to make a joke of it. I think humour is really important here. Definitely. You know, I don't like... want to pay for you to kill your brain cells with that alcohol. <laughs> I don't want to pay to jack up your adrenal glands with that caffeine. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be too keen on splitting the bill evenly. Next question. What to do when people hijack the table? So someone's ordering a selection of foods for everybody to share, but they haven't really asked you, is this okay? Do you like this food? And you might not be into it. Again, I'm going to be straight down the line here and say, I decide what I eat. No one else decides what I eat for me. That's it. Now, we don't actually know if this person is talking about going out with other vegans or if it's a mixed group of friends, some are vegan, some aren't. So obviously if it's non-vegan food, I'd be saying, hell, no, I ain't paying for that and I don't want that on the table in front of me. Um, if it's all vegan food, then Again, well, uh, personally I don't eat fried food, so yeah, if they're exactly. ordering a fried, you know, mixed platter of vegan food, I'm not going to eat it and therefore why would I pay for it? Yeah. So, so meh. Yeah. <laughs> Friends who expect you to pay for them every time you go out. Ah, oh, that's not a friend. That's a yeah. That's, no, a that's not a friend. A no. real friend would understand that the money that you earn, you've presumably worked hard, you know, to to earn that money. Yeah. Just as they've earned, worked hard to earn their money, and mm. you know that kind of expectation is not one that a real friend has of another friend. No. I don't think. What it all comes down to is not actually the people at the table or your friend or anybody external. It all comes down to you as an individual. Yeah. People will only treat you how you allow them to. So this actually comes back to an issue of the self, of self-worth. Why do you feel like you need to hang around with people that are going to take advantage of you socially or financially? Um, yeah, I would definitely... Draw boundaries. Draw boundaries. And if that means that you end up getting a new social group of friends that are more aligned with your values and principles, then so be it. That might just be part of your personal growth and evolution. Yep. Those who matter don't mind. Those who mind don't matter. That's what we always go back to when, when in these situations or thinking about these problems. Um, if you can't be honest with your friends, then they're not really your friends. So... Go about it with some humour, sort of be up front and say, you know what guys, I'm sorry I'm not into this anymore, we've done it for long enough and it's not how I roll, so that's what we think. Yeah. Um, and we did want to share with people actually a situation that we were in that made us really, really uncomfortable and this is an example of us caving in and trying to please others. Yeah, so, so 18 months ago we returned to Australia after having been away for five of the last five and a half at that point. So quite a long time. And uh, in the last year that we were away, my sister and her fiance had been working on our website and we'd paid them for that, but uh, we felt um, they'd been very helpful. And so when we returned, we wanted to have a meal with them 
and also to pay for that meal just as a token of our appreciation. Mm. Um, my grandmother is also at the same meal, so basically we took the three of them out. Mm. My nan Ooh. doesn't like to travel very far from where she actually lives, and so we went to somewhere that she's comfortable with. Would you believe it, there was not a single vegan option on the menu. Mm. Obviously that means that ordered three non-vegan meals and we, we paid, paid for it, and that was the worst feeling in the world. And the thing was we had rocked the boat quite a bit with um, many relationships whilst we were living overseas and we kind of wanted to come back we and put our best foot forward I guess you know, but at the end of the day oh, was... we appeased people at the sake of our um, mm. ethics, ethics and values and principles yeah. and it felt terrible no. you know we essentially paid for the murder of those animals and mm. it doesn't sit well and to this day we're just stewing over that yeah. situation we wish we never did it Okay, so I hope this helps. Um, post down below what is your experience with social outings. Do you split the bill? Do you eat with non-vegans? Do you pay for non-vegans? What's your experience? What are your stories? Let's help out this viewer who's asked these questions. Great topic. Can't wait to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you, and thanks for your question as well. See, See you next time. Bye.